So in this video we're going to talk about end stops and their mounting, uh, this is Shai. And we'll start off with the basic Z-Min end stop. And using the uh, Z-Min and on shape, uh, right now you have the cable coming out the side. Um, and I'll find a uh, mount here in a moment I'll show it to you guys. Uh, but we use the longer non-wheel one uh, micro switch, not the rep wrap style end stops. And then you have the uh, Z-Min here on the bottom. Or sorry, the, uh, the screw. And basically you have a M460. Now you can choose to use uh, shorter ones, all depends on how tall your bed ends up being. Um, but this has the M5 bolt through there, M4 square nut through there, M4 with a uh, similar to the Waze extruder, this uh, M4 knobs just to, to help you tighten, adjust it, lower it, raise it. Uh, we got a spring in this case here. This is just a uh, simple spring. Could be from a ballpoint pen. Uh, could be from the you know Prussia stylized springs. You don't anything fancy there, just to provide a little tension against this so it doesn't wobble too much. Uh, and then a washer, washer, a nut there, and then in here uh, there is actually a. Uh, nut trapped in that you have to push in if you do use these longer washers that were recently posted on Onshape. Uh, there is, I believe these are 20 mils, these are 15, and then these are the original uh, 10 mil ones. So again, if you just need that slight extra bit of clearance, you can do that. Uh, you can also adjust the length of this uh, mount in the Onshape dock if you want, if you actually need to come further down for the whole thing. Uh, the wiring for them is just, uh, this is where to zoom in over to your end stop wiring on the ramps and you won't be able to see mine because it's a mess of wires but you have your X-Min, Y-Min and Z-Min and uh, when we get the dual Z-Min end stop working uh, the second Z-Min uh, or left will go in the Z-Max now if we go to the Y-Min uh, we will see here that it's the same thing, micro switch. You can use whatever you want here. In my case, I like using the roller switches with the balls. It doesn't really matter. Um, but same wiring as before. I put the, the two M2 screws in there just to make sure it holds. Um, and then you have on the carriage itself, you have your X-Man mounted right there. And again, that's that's wired through the whole uh, loom and then goes back to the X-Men. Same thing with the Y-Men on this side. Gets wired and then back to the, the Rams board itself. I'll pause it for a second and show you guys the wiring. So the way that I've wired these up, hopefully you can see here and it's clear. And these may be backwards. I'm not sure, but they work. Oops. So somebody wants to correct me here, but... This is the way that I've wired them. You basically have the ground wire, um, which is on from the ramps. In my case, I have these quick connects. But the ground wire on the ramps or the MKS is going to the connect. And the normally open here going to the signal. Again, I, this is just a red wire, but I use yellow to uh, indicate the signal. And that goes to the signal line on the MKS or ramps. What this does is normally, this is an open connection until you close the switch and then that closes the circuit, uh, thereby setting the signal uh, high on the ramps or closed. In comparison, here is the standard end stop uh, that you would buy if you did the rep wrap, you know, discount end stops. Yeah, that's how they wire them in the back. But we at least find that the these end stops at least fit nicely into the plastic pieces and can be hidden uh, in the future to provide a cleaner look. Uh, if you do want to use these, uh, I will put post the file later, but there is a uh, ramps mount uh, for them, which I'll find in a second and post it as well. So this is the... This is the uh, the uh, you know rep wrap style mount if you choose to use this. 
this basically fits over your your toll mill clamps like so and you put a uh, M3 nut in here and there and there's a little trap for it uh, an M3 screw in the back I think an M316 should be fine or M320 uh, and then you can just manually move it up and down depending on where you needed it you know maybe you want to put it up here put it upside down like that you can certainly do that it would probably fit the uh, 10 mil rod as well if you wanted to put it down here and clamp it um, and that's if you choose to use those